Hey there, pimple stoppers. I'm Dr. John Barbieri. I'm a board certified dermatologist and acne expert. And in this video, I want to talk about clascoderone, also known as Winlevy, which is a really exciting acne treatment and the first FDA approved acne treatment that can address hormones in the skin. Now, why does that matter? Why is that so exciting? Well, all acne is fundamentally about hormones. This is why acne often starts at puberty when we have a rise in androgens like testosterone and DHEA. Those turn on the oil gland in our skin called the sebaceous gland. That leads to more oil production. That clogs up our pores and is food for acne bacteria. And that leads to development of acne. So whether you're a man or a woman, all acne is fundamentally about hormones. And that's what makes Gwen Levy class Coderone such an exciting treatment. We've never had a topical FDA approved treatment that can address hormones. We have treatment that can kill acne bacteria like topical antibiotics, that can help the skin turn over better so the pores don't get clogged like topical retinoids, but we have never had a treatment that can address hormones. So now, well, how well does clascoderone work? When we look at the phase three trial data for clascoderone, people who are randomized to receive treatment with clascoderone has significantly greater improvements in clearance of acne. They had about 20% of people had complete clearance of acne in the group treated with clascoderone versus only about 8% in the group treated with the cream alone. And for an acne trial, that's pretty good. We often don't see much higher clearance rates for that because it's a very high bar. When we look at things like inflammatory lesion counts, patients who were treated with clascoderone had about a 45% improvement in inflammatory lesions, and they also had significantly greater improvements in comedonal lesions, whiteheads and blackheads, compared to those who are treated with just the cream. So clascoderone clearly works for acne. It's an effective treatment for acne. Now it is a bit of a slower treatment. This took about 12 weeks in this trial to get to these results. And when you just look at the rates of improvement with clascoderone versus some other topical acne treatments like benzoyl peroxide or topical antibiotics, it is probably a little bit slower. And that's really what we see with hormonal therapy in general. When we look at other hormonal therapies like combined oral contraceptive birth control pills or spironolactone, they do tend to work slower than other acne treatments. And it may just be that this mechanism of turning down that activity of the oil gland takes a little bit longer to really get going. So very effective for acne, maybe a little bit slower. However, one of the really nice things that we saw in the clinical trials for clascoderone was that there were essentially no meaningful side effects. When we think about our topical acne treatments, we have things like topical retinoids and benzoyl peroxide that are often very irritating. And for some people, they just can't handle them on their skin, even in the mildest concentration. When we think about things like topical antibiotics, they can potentially lead to antibiotic resistance or affecting our microbiome. When we look at the clascoderone clinical trial data, people who got randomized to treatment with clascoderone were no more likely to discontinue it than people who were just receiving the cream on its own. So that's a pretty unique feature of this drug in that it tends to not be irritating. It tends to not cause a lot of side effects. In my experience using in clinical practice, I do think some patients have a mild flaring of their acne when they start. This wasn't something that was described so much in the clinical trials, but I do think it can happen. But in general, when you look at the clinical trial data, people who are treated with clascoderone do very well. They don't get irritated. They don't have a lot of side effects, which is another really exciting aspect of this treatment. Not only is it one of the first treatments that can address hormones, but it's also very well tolerated, which is a unique thing when it comes to topical acne treatments. Now, another super cool thing about clascoderone is that we can use it in both men and women with acne. Classically, when we think about hormonal therapy addressing those fundamental hormonal drivers of acne, we think about things like spironolactone or combined oral contraceptive birth control pills. And the challenge with these is that they're really only a viable option for female patients with acne. Because if you're a man and you have acne, being on these things potentially can have effects on your whole body hormones and could potentially have feminizing effects, make you look more like a woman. And so for men with acne, we often don't use these treatments because people don't want to have those side effects. However, clascoderone is only a topical treatment, it's only on the skin, and it's rapidly metabolized to something called cortexolone, which is no longer an antiandrogen in the skin. And so when we use clascoderone in the treatment of acne, because it's only on the skin and because it's rapidly metabolized once it starts to enter the body, it's not going to have any of those antiandrogen effects systemically. It's not going to cause any issues. 
And so we can use it in both men and women with acne, which is really cool about this treatment. Now, does it have some other side effects? Yes, one of the important ones to think about is because of that metabolism to cortexalone, that is a steroid. And so if you use a huge amount of this medication, it potentially can influence the body's metabolism to steroid. It can lead to an issue called HPA axis suppression, where your body's not making its own natural steroid hormones. Now, in the phase three clinical trials and the main clinical studies, this wasn't observed at all. It didn't seem to be an issue. However, in a study where they had people use a huge amount of this medicine, they had them use six grams a day. And just to put that into context, a tube of a Nevi has about 60 grams in it. So you'd go through the whole tube in just 10 days, actually in less than five days, if you were applying this much medication. So this is way more than what we use in regular clinical practice. But when people were applying this large amount of medication, about 7% of them had biochemicals. So when we did blood tests, we could see evidence of this HPA suppression side effect. Nobody had symptoms, so that's important to note that no one is having clinical issues that were affecting them, but there were about 7% of people who had this side effect. So for class coterone, I often for my patients recommend not using it over a very large surface area of their body. We don't want to be using six grams a day, but if you're just using it on your face or maybe a little bit on your chest and back too, it seems like it's unlikely that we'd run into these issues of HPA axis suppression with typical use. So how does Clascoderone compare to other acne treatments, right? We have other topical treatments. Is it better? Is it worse? Where does it fit into what we're doing? Well, as I mentioned, one of the nice properties of it is that it is not very irritating. So for people with sensitive skin, I think it's a very good option to think about. And also for people who seem like they have maybe a stronger hormonal component to their acne, like it's flaring with menstrual cycles or things like that, this might be a treatment that could be particularly effective. There is one head-to-head -head study that compared Clascoderone with tretinoin 0.05% cream. So that's one of our standard topical retinoids. In this randomized clinical trial, Clascoderone performed about as well as tretinoin, maybe even slightly better, though the, the difference wasn't statistically significant. So it seems like Clascoderone is an effective topical treatment for acne, probably on par with a lot of our other topical treatment options, but it has a unique mechanism so it can complement the other things we're doing. In my practice, the way that I use it is for someone who has trouble tolerating topical treatments or having irritation or other side effects, it's something that definitely is worth considering. For someone who maybe is an adult woman with acne, who has a lot of flaring with menstrual cycles or polycystic ovarian syndrome or other signs that androgens might be playing a key role in driving the acne, it's another place where I think about clascoderone really strongly. And then also for someone who they're on multimodal topical therapy, they're on a topical retinoid, a topical antibiotic, they're using benzoyl peroxide, and they're just not quite there. They need a little bit extra oomph to get their acne clear. Well, clascoderone, it comes in with this novel mechanism of action that can likely complement other, other topical therapies. So it can be a really helpful addition to the regimen. Now, one important downside to clascoderone when thinking about how we incorporate it into an overall regimen is that it is a twice a day medication. And actually, when you look at the clinical trials, it definitely works better when it's applied twice a day than once a day. So I think it really does need to be used twice a day. And the cream that it's in is relatively thick. And so when it comes to kind of putting it together in an overall skincare regimen for people who have trouble just adhering to things or remembering to apply medicines, that twice a day aspect of it can be a challenge. And because it is a thicker cream, sometimes the kind of cosmetic elegance of it with other parts of a skincare regimen can be an issue. And so those can be limiting factors, and it may not be the first thing that we want to use for somebody who has more mild acne and isn't having trouble tolerating other acne treatments. But I do think it's a really helpful addition to our acne treatment armamentarium. I think, again, it's the first treatment that can finally let us address the hormonal pathogenesis of acne in a topical way. It's the first anti-androgen treatment that's FDA approved that we can use in men with acne. That's super exciting and it likely complements our other topical treatments. So it can be a valuable addition to an overall acne treatment plan. So I'm really excited that we have this option in our treatment regimen. It's certainly not something that's right for everyone, but I think it has a valuable place in the management of acne. And I look forward to seeing other treatments come out in this class, thinking about how we can address the hormonal pathogenesis of acne. If you found this video helpful, please consider popping the like button and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate your support and that can help us share this video with others in the community. 
please ask me your questions about acne in the comments below and tell me about your experiences with clascoderone or other hormonal therapies for acne. We have a whole bunch of other videos on the channel that talk about other acne-related content, so check those out. And until next time, see ya!